People always say, I'm the Beatle who changed the most, but really, that's what I see life is about. The point is, unless you're God conscious, then you have to change, because, because it's a waste of time. Everybody is so limited and so really useless when you think of, about the limitations on yourself. And the whole thing is to change, try and make everything better and better. And that's what the physical world is about, is change. Sunrise does last all morning A cloudburst doesn't last all day Seems my love is up and has left you with no warning It's not always gonna be just lived by his deeds. He was spiritual and you knew it. And there was no salesmanship involved. And it made you spiritual being around him. Uh, it made you like those Krishnas who could sometimes be the biggest pain in the necks in the world, running around with their robes and their shaved heads and their white powder all over their face, scaring you half to death, coming out of a dark studio glowing. It was a very unusual choice, I thought, to work with Phil Spector, with the kind of songs you were making on that album. Yeah, I suppose it was, but um, he needed a job at the time. <laughs> and I needed somebody to help me because, you know, I mean, after being in a group all the time with a producer, mm. suddenly to be a solo artist with no producer, you know, and no group, you know. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's quite a big jump. John phoned me up in the morning, he said, look, I've just written this song and I'm gonna record it today and have it out tomorrow. It's called Instant Karma, will you come and play on it? So mm -hmm. I said, okay, got my guitar, went into town, went in the office and Phil was there. Mm -hmm. And I said, come on, let's go and do this song with John. And he said, oh, no, no, I can't go. You know, I haven't been invited. And I said, oh, yeah, just come on. And so he stood in the back of the control room in mm -hmm. Studio 3, it was, in Abbey Road. And he stood there and like the engineer was getting all paranoid and Phil wouldn't say anything. And after a, about a couple of hours, I said, come on, do something. So then he started putting the echo on it. McCartney was making an album. John had a single ready to go. Uh, and now John was talking about making an album already, the Plastic Ono Band. And I said to George, you know, you ought to consider making an album, and I'd only been there 12 hours. I went to George's uh, Friar Park, which he had just purchased, and he said, I have a few, a few ditties for you to hear. It was endless. He had literally hundreds of songs, and each one was better than the rest. He had all this emotion built up when it released to me. I don't think he had played them to anybody, maybe Patty. <laughs> over on the songs in the studio so that everybody got the right routine and it was sounding really nice and then in the control room Phil was in there with the engineer making it sound like you know this noise the first track Phil we back to wall yeah well the first track we ever did it was this song called Wawa and it sounded really nice in the studio all this nice acoustics and piano and no echo on anything we did it for hours until we you know, he had it right in the control room. Yeah. And we went in to listen to it, and I listened to it, and I just thought, I hate it. It just is so horrible. 
Did you say that to him? Yeah, I said, it's horrible, I hate it. Eric said, oh, I love it. So I said, well, well, you can have it on your album then. But (laughs) I grew to like it. He wouldn't let anything go until it was right. My sweet Lord must have taken about 12 hours to overdub the guitar solos. But the, the, he had nine harmonies working on. Blah, 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 blah. He must have had that in triplicate six-part harmony before we decided on two-part harmony. He had it meticulous. He was a perfect, perfectionist is not the word. Anyone can be a perfectionist. He was beyond that. He just had to have it so right and he would try and try and experiment and experiment and experiment upon experiment. 